Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Today I have an update. I have less than 150 to go on my 30,000 subscribers and I'm so excited. So please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so that we can do the giveaway. It's getting close and I'm getting it together so please subscribe. All right, today this is a little treat box I'm sharing. It's so cute. I love doing these. I call them flip top box. I don't know if that's exactly what it's called, but I love doing these. And I've done them in several different sizes. Um, I'll try to link some of them in this video. This one's kind of small, but it'll fit a good amount of chocolate. It's four inches. The actual box part is four inches by one and a half and then it is one and a half tall so it's a really nice size i love this ribbon by the way if you didn't see my retiring list video it's a long one but it's worth go staying till the end because there's a bunch of discounted stuff that i share in there and if you want any of the 2021 retiring products you better grab them up because they are going fast and it always happens every time this year. So the stamp set and this uh, this designer series paper, this ribbon, this little gingham ribbon that's going away. Um, so there's quite a bit. One of the punches I'm using is going away. So I'm going to tell you everything as we go, but this is what I'm sharing. So this one just ties. I've done these a lot of different ways, but this time I decided to put a little um, hole in each side. And I don't think I've ever done that before. I don't remember. I've done so many boxes. I just can't remember all of them. So it opens like that. So you can fit a good amount of candy in here or even a small gift. And then um, I just tied it up with a nice little bow. So this is the one that I'm sharing. And I like to knot it down here so that the top and the bottom stay even. So we are going to be making this today. So let's get started. I'm using So Saffron. So it is from the Subtle Collection. One piece you need is four and a half by seven. This is for the bottom of the box. And for the top, you need a piece that's four and a quarter by five. Now we're going to mat these all. So you're going to need two pieces to mat the top. One piece is one and five eighths by four and an eighth, and one is one and three eighths by four and an eighth. Then you need one for the box. You're going to need one that's one and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And then you need two that are one and three eighths by one and three eighths. You'll need a piece of amusing Highland Heather for underneath the for one of the punches and then whisper white for the happy Easter and you're going to need whisper white for the little Easter eggs. I love these Easter eggs and I totally forgot about them this year and then I real I pulled out that stamp set because I wanted to use it for a card and I remembered it had the Easter eggs in it and I'm so sad because this bundle is retiring the the stamp set and the dies. So it is called a Ranger Wreath. It's one of my favorite. I love wreaths. I usually create them myself, but I love this. And the dies, look at the dies. They're gorgeous. If you want to get these, I recommend getting these now. Um, they're going to go so fast. And these are, this is the um, Easter egg that you stamp. And then it has the Easter eggs right here. So it has two little designs of that. But the wreath itself on this is gorgeous. I have, I think, already done a card with the wreath. It's so, so pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and get our box together. This box is really rather easy. We are going to go ahead and score it. On the seven inch side, you're gonna score it at one and a half and at five and a half. And then you're going to turn it, you're going to score it at one and a half and three. So that's the bottom of the box. Very easy, right? And on the top, 
you're just going to score it on the five inch side and you're going to score it at one and three quarters and three and a quarter and that is it alright so for the top one all you're going to do is sharpen these score marks and then on the bottom one you're just going to do a little bit of cutting here so we are going to cut down on this one and on this one on the ends we're going to do the same on the other side but first we're going to cut this in half I like making these glue tab smaller because then it cuts down on the bulk of the box. I love the shape of this one. I think I made one maybe a little bit bigger. The same length, not the same length, but probably longer, but the same kind of shape. And then you're just cutting down those two. I'm going to cut this just about in half. And then cut these. So we're just making our glue tabs a little bit smaller. I didn't cut this one straight, so let me fix that. I'm really particular with that. My hairdresser always, I give her a hard time because I always tell her everything's got to be even. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to sharpen these. And now we're getting ready to put this together. I'm just going to use wet glue for this, but you can use your tear and tape. You can use your Stampin' Seal Plus. Don't use the regular, but use the plus if you're going to do this because you want these to stay together. And then we're just bringing these up. Line them up so that they're nice and square. And we're going to do the other side the same way. up and then there's our bottom box we're gonna mat these though so let's go ahead and mat them so we'll get our mat pieces here and I got to make sure I have some of them are pretty close in size I think this one's the front of the box and you don't need to do the back because that's going to be up against this part so we're going to mat that one, the front. And I didn't tell you the designer series paper I'm using. I love this. And I decided I love the yellow and the Highland Heather, the So Saffron and Highland Heather together for Easter. So this is what I'm using. But it is called Fine Art Floral. And this is it. And yes, this is retiring too. A lot of the designer series paper are discounted. So you need to check it out. I posted the video on my YouTube channel and my blog, so you can check out either one. I also posted the PDF for the list on my blog. All right, so let's go ahead and mat the sides. All right, so now I'm going to put my adhesive on the bottom here. And I like using the wet glue, especially for this part. And it goes on this bottom piece here. Like that so I can see and if I need to move it around I can move it around but I like it the same amount of space all the way around and then we're going to go ahead and mat the top and we're going to mat the side the back so this is for the top this is the wider piece isn't that pretty paper pretty and then we're going to do the back. And scoot over. This is why I like the wet glue. If I get it off, I can lift it. All right, now I'm going to use my eighth inch circle punch. I don't like using the bigger one because it will show on the top. So I'm just going to punch in the middle. I'm just going to eyeball this and then one on the front of this to line up with the other one. We're going to grab our Daffodil Delight. I think this one's Daff... No, this is Bumblebee, but it's the Gingham Ribbon. I love it. 
This is one I'm going to really, really miss. I love gingham. But we did get to see the new catalog. And if you want to see the new catalog and pre-order, you can join my team. And I have information on my blog about joining. But, yes, there's gingham somewhere in there. That's all I'm going to say. All right. I'm just tying the bow. Just like that. I'm going to shorten this one a little. So there's our little bow. Isn't that cute? I love the size of this. All right, now we are going to stamp our sentiment. And I'm just using Memento Black for this, and it's Happy Easter. And I even forgot about this sentiment. So that's why I'm using this. So we're doing the Happy Easter. Isn't it cute? I love the cursive on this. And I'm using our double oval. And I'm just using the little scalloped one. So we're punching that from there. And then I also am going to use, and I don't even remember the name of this, Timeless Label. This is the Timeless Label. I'm using this. This is the one retiring. And it fits perfect. The oval fits perfect in it. I love it. So I'm going to miss this one too. <laughs> I love punches, and I hate when... We lose punches, but we are getting some new ones. So I'm going to just adhere this flat on here. So look how nice it fits into there. I'm popping up the little Easter eggs, so that's why I'm not popping this up. We're going to set this one here, and I'm covering up the little hole where we put our sentiment. Now, I've, I did cut out some of the Easter eggs. I stamped them and cut them. I did them in Highland Heather, in Granny Apple Green, and in Melon Mambo. And I'm going to do one in Gorgeous Grape, and I'm going to run it through my mini cut and emboss so you can see how that works. So I have my paper right here, my little... Easter eggs. There's two on there. It goes through and you cut both at the same time. It goes really quick and easy. And then the die, I have a little bit of purple tape on it because I'm going to use that. So let's bring out our little mini here. I don't know if this is the first time I'm using it. I've used it a ton, but I think it's the first time I used it on a video. So we are using this one. We are going to put these little eggs on here. But isn't it adorable? It's going to be perfect to take to um, classes. When I start doing classes again after all this stuff is over. And then we're just going to send this through. And we'll have our little Easter eggs. We're not using them all, but we are going to use quite a few of them. Look how little the plates are. Aren't they cute? So cute. All right, so let's bring our one back here, and I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals because that's what we're going to use. The first one, though, I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on flat, and I'm going to put that one here, and we're going to use dimensionals, these little mini ones. Um, let's see. I'm going to use, let's see, let's do this one here. And I'm just going to kind of make them whimsical on here. And then we're going to do this one. I'm going to do that one going that way. And then we'll do this one right here. Boy, I think I'm running out of my minis here. I think I have enough just to do these. I need to get another pack out. And we're going to do that one there, and then we're going to do just three on the other side. And I think that's all I have for these. I'm going to put this one down flat, too. So I'm going to put that there. And then we're going to do, we're not going to use that one. We're going to use this one. 
and then we're going to do that one. And I have one more left. <laughs> one more little dimensional left. And we'll put that one right there. And that's it. There's just one that we're not using. I just wanted to give it an odd number on there because it always looks nicer. But isn't that cute? Super cute. This could be for an adult or a child. Would enjoy this with a small gift or some little candies. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. So I hope you all have a blessed one. And guess what? I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.